So we have this nice theme here downloaded and installed into our WordPress uh, testing site. Uh, but we have a little problem. As you can see here, none of our styles are being loaded. And in fact, uh, the admin bar that you usually see at the top of WordPress sites is missing too. If I were to type in wp-admin at the end of this, you'll see that I'm already logged in. But when I go back to the site, uh, the admin bar is not being shown. And that's for one reason. Uh, we're not including the proper functions in our header and our footer. So let's go ahead and do that now. What we want to do is switch over to our editor. And if you downloaded the Bootstrap blog files from uh, my website, easydevtoots.com, uh, you should have all of this set up already. First thing we want to do is add this function just above the closing head tag wp underscore head and all this function does is loads the uh, WordPress style sheets and down here at the bottom we need to do the same thing but this time for the footer so we'll put wp underscore footer and this will load the necessary JavaScript so after I've saved it I can switch back to my browser and hit the refresh button and you see my admin bars there. And so now we're getting somewhere. Uh, we still have one more problem though. Our main style sheet, uh, style.css, uh, is not being loaded. And that's because we need to uh, add this in our functions file. So to do that, first, of course, we have to create the functions file. And we'll save it as functions.php. And we'll open up a PHP tag. And what we want to do is uh, we want to add an action to a, a WordPress function so that we can load our styles. So to do that, we're going to have to create a function and we'll call it uh, about bootstrap blog styles. It's going to be kind of long, but descriptive styles and scripts. And then we're going to add the action. to the wp underscore nq scripts. Just like that. And then the second parameter of this function has to be the name of the custom function we just created. I'll put that in quotes. And then inside the function, what we need to do is uh, we need to nq the style. Let's see, just like that in key style. And I'll go ahead and zoom in at this point. And what we want to write in here is one, the name of our style. So we'll just call it main. And then uh, we'll want to pass in the path to our uh, main CSS file. No semicolon there. And that's actually not correct. I think I've chose the wrong one. Get style sheet URI, URI is the function we got to use here. And then we can save it. And we switch back to the browser. You'll see that we have our uh, main layout for the most part built, but it's still missing one more thing. Now remember, this is the bootstrap example uh, file that we got from the main website. So we still need to include bootstrap. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to go back to our functions file, and we're going to do that. Only uh, this time, we're going to have to actually reference the, the full path of the file. So I'm just going to copy this line, and instead of main, I'll just put bootstrap. I'll just put bootstrap. And then instead of the get style sheet URI, I want to use get template directory URI underscore URI. I'll take that out. Just like that. Get underscore template underscore directory underscore URI. And then zoom out a little bit. In single quotes, I want to put the full path to the file. So you can see over here. Uh, in my template directory, bootstrap-blog, I have all my bootstrap stuff in a bootstrap folder. So I'm going to put that in there. 
and then the style sheet is in CSS and it's bootstrap.min.css. So CSS bootstrap.min.css and that should be it. Let me go back and save it, switch to the browser. And there we go. When I refresh it, you'll see that the uh, container class is added and uh, my layout's looking good. And it looks like we've got our style sheets set up. And now we're ready to continue on with uh, making this a WordPress theme. So what we'll do is we'll start from the top to the bottom. And I think in the next video, we'll go ahead and set this navigation menu up to be dynamic. Thanks for watching.